In this video, we give you a West Coast Swing drill to improve your footwork and timing for West Coast Swing. What's up, gang? Brian B. Uh, we are talking about West Coast Swing drills and a drill that you can use to improve your timing. So one of the most common struggles of West Coast Swing dancers, especially in the beginning, is staying on time. Now, finding the beat and walking to the beat, most people are okay with that single time, but it's the mix of single time and then the triple steps that become the issue. So we're gonna walk through a little bit of a drill and it's gonna get seemingly complicated quickly, but if you can work this out, this will be something that you can um, drill on your own in little snippets of time, two or three minutes a pop, that hopefully will increase your ability to stay on time while working through walks and triples in your West Coast Swing. So, if we turn around, the simplest thing is if we're dealing in two beat increments. So if we look at a triple step first, a triple step is triple step, so that's three steps in two beats of music, and West Coast Swing is working in two beat increments. So the first thing I want you to do is just a simple tap step. So we're gonna tap one, two, we're gonna tap three, four, we're gonna tap five, six, seven, eight. So we can start to feel those two, four, six, and eights in the music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one of the things I want you to kind of practice on doing if we get a full body shot of this is as I'm tapping, I know I'm gonna to step to my right, so I need to start to swing my body to the right. Now, I don't mean fall over, but I need to start to swing my, my rib cage and my head weight to where I'm gonna go. So as I step, step, or tap for one, I can move on to that two. Then I'm reversing that three, four, a five, six, seven, eight. So even underneath that, I have maybe even a little styling, but I'm really working on my timing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I wanna swing this into triple steps. So the same thing, I'm stepping on two, four, six, and eight, but I'm starting the triple first. So now we're gonna triple step one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And if we get a full body shot of that, you'll see that as I'm tripling, one and, those are two quick steps, two half beats, one and, and then I'm stepping into my two. So I already have to have my body kind of swinging to that direction. If we do one and two, now I'm reversing the same thing, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. So it's the same idea as the tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, and then triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step, and then tap, step, tap, step, tap, step. If you count it out, it's one and two, three and four, five and six, seven to the tap. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, back to triples and so on and so forth. So as you do that, I would recommend picking a slow song, working through that uh, tap step and triple step drill um, slowly and you'll start to anchor yourself, not a West Coast Swing anchor step, but you'll start to anchor yourself to the two, four, six, and eight, which is the underlying beat of all of your basic patterns. So go ahead and try that with slow music and uh, shoot a comment down below, let me know how it goes, or head on over to the website, westcoastswingonline.com. Um, if you enter your email on the first page, you're gonna get two things. Number one, you're gonna be on our mailing list. We share two awesome videos per month um, only to our email subscribers. You will also get a free membership where you get 20 free videos, you get access to all of our stuff, and uh, we will share the best resources we can with you to help you in your West Coast Swing journey. So good luck with practicing your West Coast Swing drills to improve your timing.